So let's do an ls into the bounce directory. And then we will see this there. So this is the BAM file. This is the raw BAM file. So that's what we have here. Now after read mapping, it's advisable to check the statistics. Okay, the mapping statistics. So let's do that. So you say some tools flag. Black stats and then that is just one T. So flag stats and then we say bam slash other that's raw dot bam. So this will give us a mapping statistics. So let's run this. Perfect. So it will tell us the percentage of reads that map to the reference sequence. Okay, so that's what I have here. I'll just focus on this one here, the one that's mapped. So we have majority of the reads mapping to the reference sequence, which is good. Okay, so this statistics will help you, okay, to kind of understand what has happened in terms of the number of reads that's mapped. And ideally, we should have majority of the reads mapping to the reference this will let us know that indeed we are dealing with the right organism so that is something you have to also look at so if let's say you are dealing with human genomes uh, you perform your read mapping and realize that most of the reads or quite a substantial number of the reads are not mapping to the reference sequence then you should investigate further that means probably something is wrong it could be contamination it could be sequencing error etc but just need to make sure you check that as well so that's about it